Well, with the arrival of May, we observe National Teacher Appreciation Day, International Firefighters Day, and of course, National Police Week. Today, Sarah Taylor joins us to tell us about the Hoosier Lottery's focus on Hoosier Heroes. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Well, this, of course, is a topic near and dear to my heart because on Lifestyles, we, we tell people stories, and many of them are heroes. So tell us about the Hoosier Lottery's focus on heroes. Well, we are honored to champion our Hoosier heroes. It's hard to believe it's been more than 30 years since we sold that first scratch-off ticket in 1989. And over that time, we're so proud of the $6.7 billion that the Hoosier Lottery has generated for the state of Indiana. These funds support the local police and firefighter pension fund, the teacher retirement fund, and the lottery surplus fund. Well, let me just say, wow. I'm, I'm pretty sure that folks don't realize the dollars the lottery consistently generates for the state each year. Well, it really adds up, doesn't it? So giving back to these good causes is all part of the Hoosier Lottery's commitment to helping build a stronger, smarter, safer Indiana. It's an honor to support these Hoosier, Hoosier heroes in their retirement. And every year the Hoosier Lottery contributes 30 million to the teacher retirement fund, 30 million to the local police and firefighter pension fund. And additionally, our commitment to the lottery surplus fund is used to lower the motor vehicle excise tax for Hoosier motorists and vehicle owners. So the Hoosier Lottery funds benefit every county in the state of Indiana. Well, Sarah, how, how do these contributions impact the Evansville area specifically? Well, great question. This past fiscal year, retired teachers in your viewing area have benefited more than 1.5 million that was paid into their fund. And police officers and firefighters that are retired have benefited from $1.7 million paid into their fund. And vehicle owners have saved $14.6 million in the excise tax reduction supported by the lottery surplus fund. My goodness, those contributions have a major impact, don't they? Oh, they do. Thank you. I totally agree. These efforts would not be possible without our players and retailers across the state. Well, Sarah, is there a website for more information about what the Hoosier Lottery does as far as give back to the state? There is. Specifically, you can go to HoosierLottery.com backslash giving back, and you can learn more about these various funds. And we have an interactive map that's county by county, so you can drill down and learn the specifics. Well, we're pretty excited here at the TV station because we've been inspired by the Hoosier Lottery's focus on heroes who have stepped up in the community. So we launched a campaign to celebrate those local folks who make a difference. It's called Championing Hoosier Heroes. And our viewers can see the segments right here on Local Lifestyles as well as on the newscast in the month of May. Well, there are so many champions to celebrate within our community. This is such a wonderful way to say thank you. Sarah, what else would you like to share about the current gaming offerings? Well, as you know, we do launch new scratch-off tickets every month, beginning of the month. But we also have our draw games and our fast play. Our Hoosier Lotto jackpot right now is an estimated $11.4 million dollars. And with that growing jackpot, it's a great time for the Hoosier Lottery to emphasize our responsible gaming. So players are encouraged to keep their play positive, know their games, set a limit, and keep it fun. And always, please remember those 18 and older to play. Congratulations on the Hoosier Lottery surpassing $6.7 billion in contributions. And thanks for making such a positive impact right here at home. It's good to see you, Sarah. Great seeing you, and thank you so much.